Hi, I am John Nigerian, and I'm here with the president of Miso Robotics. Uh, we're going to have a great conversation about what Miso Robotics is all about. Welcome, Buck. Great Thanks, to have you here. It comes all the way back around to the idea that um, the $15 minimum wage, there's a bunch of people who'd be lined up against it and a bunch of people who'd be for it, of course. And the fact that people are pushing for this $15 minimum wage means that Miso Robotics is all the more likely to succeed faster because somebody who's got, you've mentioned pizza, but you know we can say firms like White Castle. These are projects that a robot can do um, without screwing up as much yep. and without the $15 an hour minimum wage. But th like I say, that comes back around to the idea that um, you're a VC that saw what was coming with this crowdfunding and said, we should be on that and we should be the wave makers to make that happen. Right. So same thing here. You see the $15 minimum wage coming and you say, but MISO has a solution for all of these businesses that would otherwise be negatively impacted, you know, and earn a lot less money if they have to pay, you know, 20 fry cooks over a, you know, 18 hour day or 20 hour day and so forth. They can make a lot more money with a one time investment in MISO robotics. For sure. I mean, I mean, like, I mean, you know, there, there's there's a good side to every trade, right? I mean, and so so if. Uh, if a uh, cost to operate a, a restaurant's going up, then the automated equipment to you know defray that cost is going to is going to is going to be more popular, you know. But at the same time, we've you know we're, we're we're tackling both the like horrible economic issues that most of these small businesses and quick serve restaurants have. They're operating on single digit EBITDA margins, mm -hmm. um, but we're also addressing problems with throughput, problems with, with, with employee retention and quality assurance. A lot of the viewers um, have seen a robotic burger flipping machine. They wouldn't believe how much they've changed through the years too, because the first version of anything isn't gonna be the best version, but now you've got to the point where you've got a Miso Robotics, which, I mean, I hesitate to ask, you're, are you gonna have ice cream scoopers too? You know, <laughs> that it literally <laughs> grabs the scoop and throws it, because like I said, cleanliness is a big issue too, especially because of COVID. Robotic a machine isn't, gonna cough in your on your burger yeah no smoking breaks it's gonna show up every day because it's just there um, so all it's a question of is turning it on if you have an update to your SOP which is robot or sorry like um, restaurant parlance for like recipes and all that stuff like it's an upload you don't need to train thousands and thousands and thousands of employees it's just one day it's done mm -hmm. you know today Miso Robotics we, we have our Nestle robotic arm in the back of house quick serve restaurants, currently we're frying and working the grill. And and, and the fry, the guy who, who runs the fryer, he typically sticks around for two to three months at, at that job. Before he's burned out. And so, you know, yeah, because like, you're standing in front of a boiling vat of oil the entire day. It's like, it's a tough, tough job. And that guy needs to be in front of, needs to be in the front of house servicing this explosion of delivery, takeout and, and you know, drive through. And at the same time, like everyone's gotta, gotta cook more, right? And so, or sorry, gotta, gotta clean more. Cause these, some of these restaurants are looking like uh, hospitals more than they are. Um, restaurants when it comes to the cleanliness. And then there's really interesting applications of data that we're able to enable our, our brands to, to utilize to increase uh, quality assurance.